HIT Radio live with the Hip Hop and Slam Poetry Show with Mr. Mooney and Greg. Unfortunately, one of our guests, um, Chloe, who is a poet, had blood drawn and she couldn't make it. And she rolls in later, but a surprise. <laughs> so, um, welcome, Mr. Mooney and Greg. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yeah, um, I was going to introduce Chloe first with her poem, but we have Greg with his song, but we're going to put on a cypher beat so he can rap over it. Just a white boy who likes to spit rhymes. Started sweet, growing up on Garden Street. Now it's a part of me, hitting charts like the Carter Three. It was hard to see. Who would have thought of me making it big, kind of like I won the lottery? Now we in so deep that it's hard to breathe. Never thought my hobby would become an artistry. I did it, all of my good kids listen. Never knew a few words could make a big difference. Never imagined all this a year ago. Now I'm high flying like I'm Ray Mysterio. Couple lyrics wrote. They hear me flow. I love my life, yes, I'll never let those feelings go. Yo, 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 take it back. Just a group of good kids having a good time. Summer nights, every corner where I would rhyme. Iggy on the beatbox, the whole street watched. Cause my rhyme stopped time like a cheap watch. Was I blessed or just a blessing in disguise? And I still have those lessons left in time. Like school lunch, I'm finally next in line. When the rainy days is over, now I get to shine. Rap took my heart, cause there's nothing left to borrow. If I stop rapping, would I ever see tomorrow? I'm not blind, but I never saw it coming. Just like MJ, I got to be started something. I mean, I got to be hard or something. Cause there's no way I let it be all for nothing. So take it back then, yes, back when I was 13, first time I started rapping. Marble notebook independence where it happened. Had a pretty face, mama, wish I tried acting. I'm sorry, mama, but I ain't no Brad Pitt. But I'm still getting busy like traffic. Never be put to rest like caskets burn into ashes. No, I'll stay as is. Like Howard, I always stay magic. Except to making music, not baskets. So tragic. <laughs> nice. Nice. I like that. That was nice how you put that flow with the. I like that. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um. So, what made you get into hip hop? Like, why do you like it so much? I mean, honestly, I grew up on like my dad listening to jazz, my mom being into uh, theater, like musical theater, and I guess like in a way those combined have something to do with hip hop. You know, jazz with the rhythm and all that, and then theater with like the antics and the the acting, like ideals of rap and uh i was listening to all types of music when i was young i grew up in like awesome family very very musical family but uh one day my aunt played me a biggie small song and i was just like this really encompasses everything that i've been hearing and this like really finishes off for me so it's history since then that's nice i, lo I love hip-hop too like i grew up my father is a big fan of jazz and my mom is a big fan of jazz too so like and hip hop was always played in my house, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I grew up based on that. So yeah, I understand. Um, now we have um, some photos from the Word Up event, and yeah, so yeah, we were real proud of the event. Um, I feel like the school really came out to support it, and. We had a feature poet named John Sands who came through. He's out of Brooklyn, um, and he's with an organization called Urban Word NYC. So he was 
impressed with all the poets from high tech. I mean, that's really what got me, how many talented people we have here doing creative writing, um, you know, music and poetry. And together, this event just, you know, evolved and the kids got behind it. And it was just a really powerful experience, you know, for me as a teacher and I think for all of them and everyone who was there. So, I mean, couldn't be happier with it. It was like an electric afternoon in the Black Box Theater over there. And um, now, Mr. Mooney, why did you start the hip hop class like for kids at high tech? Like, uh, I think s some of my um, training at NYU when I was, you know, studying to become a teacher, uh, I actually kind of specialized in hip hop education. And a lot of people don't even realize like there is such a thing as hip hop education. You know, I think a lot of people still uh, view hip hop with the stigma of being. Um, you know, only misogynistic, uh, violent, you know, drugs, and they don't see the healing part of it and the powerful uh, mode of expression that it is and that it can help us become literate and critical thinkers. And that's where it was born from, really, you know, in the South Bronx and even going back to Jamaica, really. But it started in, in um, the, a culture of um, unity. Where, where young people were coming together to put an end to violence. Uh, and so we kind of use it as a platform in class to talk about a range of different issues that are going on in society today. Sexism, heterosexism, uh, you know, oppression, you know. Uh, so it's, it's been um, really, really powerful to see kids come out and get into it. And, you know, so more than just entertainment, it's educational. In my opinion, I think that was a great idea. The kids here that like never heard of the genre could actually like you know experience it, see how it is, you know, not just from one genre, it's a whole bunch, you know. Right. So that's a great idea. Right. And now we have a video of John Sands at the Word Up event. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a set, but they asked me to do one thing to start us out, and I gotta say, with your permission, I'd like to do something that I don't normally do. Because I walked in here today and saw like 20 bars. So I'm gonna step outside of my comfort zone here. This is for Greg. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you out. New day, same poem. New dough, same oven. Like I can give a gift wrap rose with no loving. So bring back these MCs that move me. Bring back 250 my moons that soothe me. Bring back the love that gets lost like loose leaf. Bring back the notebook that was worth the spruce trees. Bring back the ladies showing off their booties. Bring back, bring back the dudes who know this ain't a movie. And bring back all my trans ladies and fellas who follow in their hearts finding out what the truth be. I'm scared to write raps. <laughs> So why you think I'm doing it? My poetry gets snaps. But that ain't never been the root of it. You pay a zero dollar entrance with your books at home, saw the YouTube videos and sang along in your room alone, soup burning on the stove with the fumes your own, just like Outkast had me from the Bibbidi Beat Drop. Got Southern Playalistic in a UCD shop. Suburban white boy said, I could do that too. They said, don't do it like me. You better do it like you. And ain't it like being yourself to be the hardest. Sound like Gene Ann, but call yourself the artist. And I do that too, from Araceli's to Roger to Anise Mojgu. Notebook full of poems might as well be you. It's complicated like the inside of your mom's beef stew. But till my lips fall off, until this life is through. In every breath we breathe, in everything we do. In every drop we wept, every song we sang. Loud to the dashboard, cause it was what we knew. Yo, I took the hard side of a passenger door. My helmet scraped the paint on the concrete floor. My head said concussion, but my watch said go. You bout to teach a workshop or your lights won't glow. So, I keep it moving like bikes, folks. I rock the full set while you kick over the And that was John Sands. I actually enjoyed it. I laughed yeah. a little bit. It was, kind of, it was so funny. Okay, so, but he has a nice flow. I like it, too. It's really cool. Yeah, he, he's... Uh, a talented individual. Real funny guy, yeah. <laughs> really funny. Right. <laughs> and um, that wraps up our show today. And we do have talent in this school. This is, this is great. And 
we're going to tune in to um, Rolling Skating Jam named Saturdays by De La Soul, and this is WHIT Radio. Tune in to the Peru Radio Show. Bye. <laughs> Sleeper on your neck, connected like a vibe from the wheel to the